Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In this video, I just want to share with you the new pen roll that I got from Filed, which I ordered online. Now, I have had this pen roll before in 2016. I will link the video in the description box for you. But after I got the Montague pen pouch that turns into a pen cup as needed, I gave the pen roll to my son because he liked it. And I will also link the video about the Montague pen pouch video down below. So the Montague pen pouch is what I have been using. But first I will show you the pen roll. I ordered it in yellow as it shows in the receipt right here. As you can see, I paid 395 pesos for this and shipping was free. It took only about four business days to arrive. And when I opened the parcel, it wasn't actually yellow. It was a light brown. That is okay. It's still the same pen roll as before, but then I noticed that the material was slightly different. The fabric looks the same, but feels a little bit thicker and stiffer. And I also think it's a little bit taller than the one I had before. I think it is also wider, but it has the same number of pen loops, which is 20. The loops are farther apart on this one than on the previous one. And of course, this one still has the detachable pen pouch with a handle that can also be unsnapped. The snaps that attach the pen pouch to the pen roll are magnetic. It now also has a flap of fabric at the bottom to prevent pens from falling out from the bottom when bringing the pen roll around and I'll show you that later. It also has a tiny loop stitched together with a strap which we can use to close the strap. The previous one didn't have this either and I think that's a pretty neat feature. I will show you how it works later. I am doing okay with this Montague pen pouch but as my color coding for my Hyperdex continues to evolve sometimes I need less zig pens and sometimes I need more. Now as I'm finishing my thesis, working on a new personal project and taking on new kinds of job at work and also working on something else for a bunch of people and I'm also dealing with so many other things. I therefore need more colors and the Montague pen pouch has therefore become a little bit too tight. So I decided that on months that I need a more complicated color coding, I can use the pen roll and then during simpler times, I can move back to the Montague pen pouch because I really like the pen pouch. I transferred to the pen roll right away. On the 20 pen loops, I placed the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens that I use several times a day, every single day. And into the detachable pouch went the other colors that I use only a couple of times a week or once or twice a month. Plus two of the four Pilot Metropolitans that I use every day but don't have pen loops for in my planner. I have a video about the four Pilot Metropolitans that I use in my planner and I will link that video down below and I also have a video about my color coding in my Hyperdex and I will link it down below but that has already changed since then and I might make an updated video on that in a few weeks when my schedule eases up a bit but I will link the old video down below for you. Here is how that tiny new loop works to help secure the strap around the pen roll. Taking out the detachable pen pouch, the roll is of course noticeably smaller and look at how that extra flap at the bottom conceals the bottom of the pens and also prevent them from falling out. But I know myself, I would feel a little bit insecure if I don't have the entire thing with me. So I plan to just keep them together and bring them around as needed for now because my life is just one thin line away from total chaos. But so far I'm doing okay. I'm soldiering on and this will be part of my arsenal in the battle of life. And that's my video for you today. I hope you excused a little bit of drama. How are you all doing these days? I hope you're okay. I would love to hear from you so leave me a comment and we'll talk. Thanks for watching. Bye!